Hello everyone, this is Marat, and I'm going to be showing you some wrist stretches. You can see my cat here loves to join in and beg me for food while I'm doing the stretches. So we're starting with some internal and external rotations of the wrists. Really good for warming up and getting a nice full range of motion. You'll see I'll do different variations of the rotations. Internal, external. All right, now we're gonna be doing some flexion and extension and I will play with the different variations with my fingers so I might curl them in sometimes make sure I flex my fingers I just get the whole wrists and fingers and everything involved start changing it up a little turning the wrists in different directions starting with more simple and adding more complexity as I move along. Try to um, see how far I can go. What are, What is my threshold? You can see I went from a more sort of um, linear movements to more of a fluid movements, more from kind of static movements to fluid movements, and I'm, I'm incorporating more like of a flow, more flow-like movement, getting my whole body involved, my arm, my shoulder, and reversing the process as well. Kind of get into it, get it, um, make it like a dance. As soon as I start to feel my wrists uh, fatiguing and getting tired, I will shake them out, allow the muscles to relax. So, you know, start with light shaking and then intensify it as needed. Here I will massage my wrists since they are feeling quite tense rotate my wrists and uh, just relax allow those muscles to relax before I continue feeling the fibers feeling the bones opening and closing my hands feeling wherever there may be tension in my forearms paying full attention to what's going on with my body, with my hands. See here I'm squeezing my forearms and allowing my wrist just to kind of react on its own. What happens when I squeeze my arm? My hand just flexes on its own. Just allowing the body to react as it will to my massage. We'll do one more shaking out of the wrist and move it to the next exercise. This exercise is a Qigong variation and it works really well. It gets the scapula involved as well. You can extend your fingers out like you're trying to grasp something from the future and pull it towards you. And uh, really involving the breath is super helpful. Extending the fingers, allowing the tendons to really extend and then breathing in, pulling back, and kind of getting into a nice little flow, nice, nice rhythm. As you do this, breathing out, 
and reaching forward, getting your shoulders involved, and then pulling the breath in, connecting the breath with your movements. It's very helpful, very meditative, very healing. This is one of the core concepts of Qigong is to allow your breath and your movements to work together as one organic unity. Oftentimes we'll find ourselves breathing shallow and not comfortably, not deeply, whenever we're in a stressed out state. So this can be very helpful in relaxing our minds and uh, centering ourselves while giving our body the much needed attention and love that it needs. And one thing I wanted to state earlier is that wrist stretches are very, very helpful if you do if you work with your hands, uh, if your primary work has to do with your hands. So stretching your wrists will allow you more longevity into your older age. If you're practicing handstands, if your work, if you're doing work with your hands such as doing mechanics or building something, construction, cooking. Many, many arts involve the hands, some more than others. Uh, massage therapy, martial arts, painting, really involves the hands, the wrists, the shoulders. So I do this because I do, I love to do hand balancing and um, mainly the handstands and just trying to become better at maneuvering my body and strengthening myself so having strong wrists strong hands flexible wrists flex flexible hands uh, is, is paramount to me being good at balancing on my hands my full weight which is not that much, but still, it's a lot for my hands <laughs> uh, and my wrists. So, years of gymnastics really did take a toll. I didn't really understand the full importance of stretching, even though we were taught. Didn't really take it that seriously when I was younger. Now, as I grow older, I realize how important it is to to do these stretches to uh, strengthen my wrists because it allows me to do, continue doing what I really enjoy, what I really love. And when you realize that, uh, you start paying a lot more attention to these so-called smaller, less exciting exercises so here again I'm stretching my wrists in different ways closed fists open fists rotations flexions extensions I'm starting to incorporate some squeezing I'm really like flexing my hands here opening and flexing and you can see my forearms are just like all the muscles are flexing really putting a lot of effort into it not holding back really squeezing but also not killing myself you know not trying to show off or anything just flexing those muscles using whatever capabilities I have within my body. There we go, shake it off a little bit. Shake it off. 
shake it off and that concludes the wrist stretching hope you enjoyed that <laughs>